Hi, I'm Sherry Taylor. I'm one of the directors of nursing with rnbridgeprogram.com. Today I'm here to talk to you about an intramuscular injection that's going to be going into the gluteal muscle. So we're going to talk about how to give the injection and our appropriate landmark for that specific IM injection. Now here I have a model of the patient with the gluteal muscle and here you can see the gluteal muscle is exposed also showing to you the sciatic nerve that runs directly in the middle of that muscle. Now when we find our landmarks for this patient we want to make sure we're not going directly into that muscle because we're going deep and we don't want to hit that sciatic nerve. So the way that we find the appropriate landmark for this patient is we draw an imaginary line both vertically and horizontally and then we're going in the upper outer quadrant or the upper outer aspect of this muscle so that way we stay far away from that sciatic nerve causing less damage to the patient. Now let's talk about some of the supplies that you're going to need when you're getting ready for this procedure. You need a pair of non-sterile gloves. We're not doing a sterile procedure so non-sterile is absolutely fine. You also need your syringe with your medication and then you need a one and a half inch long needle. We do a one and a half inch so we get deep into that muscle because it is an intramuscular injection so we don't want to actually get into the subcutaneous tissue. We need deep into the muscle and the one and a half inch is the most appropriate for this site. And then you need your alcohol swab. So let's go ahead and let's put our gloves on. And again, when we're talking about asepsis, we're talking about covering our hands with gloves. We're talking about not having artificial nails such as what I have on. I'm the instructor today with no real patient. If you had a real patient, nails are a no-no. Even real nails need to be trim into your fingertips. Your hands need to be washed prior to your procedure. And then we're going to put these clean gloves on. And then once we get the gloves on, we're going to take the alcohol because another part of asepsis is actually cleaning the site with alcohol. So now let's go down to our patient. Okay, so here we are back at the patient again. We're going to go into the gluteus maximus muscle. Draw your landmarks again both vertically and horizontally making a crisscross pattern on the muscle itself and remember we're going into the upper outer quadrant. Once you find your landmark, take your alcohol, put it on the site where your landmark is and draw a circle from the inside out. We're going from clean to dirty. Then you want to take your needle with your medication. You want to make sure that you turn the bevel up. The bevel is where the hole is in the needle. It goes up towards the patient. You are going in at a 90 degree angle. Directly in, aspirate to see if you have any blood and then immediately inject. When you finish, pull your needle out, put it in the sharps container, take off your gloves and then you're done. Okay, so that's how you give an IM injection in the gluteal muscle. Now FYI, after you give the injection, depending on what type of medication you give, you may be able to massage that area. So make sure that you look in your drug guide to see what's appropriate as far as a massage and what is not. You can also cover the area with a band-aid in case it is oozing a little bit. Also, as you well know, there are many different locations for landmarks. This is just the particular one that I'm teaching you on today. Again, my name is Sherry Taylor. I'm one of the directors of nursing with rnbridgeprogram.com. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.